What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at my everyday carry for photo and video and the bag that I actually use to carry all my equipment with me when I'm out shooting street photography. A lot of you may not know this but I started my journey with a camera on the iPhone 11 Pro and that's exactly when I got into shooting street. I've been watching a bunch of street photographers on Instagram as well as on YouTube for a very very long time. Sean Tuck being one of them who's one of my favorite street photographers. Joe Allen and Samuel Street Life full of most senior street photographers who are truly amazing. I'll leave links to their channel in the description. Basically Basically what I'm trying to say is I got into cameras and I got into taking pictures and shooting a lot of video by watching street photography and loving the idea of street photography. And I've been shooting street for a little while now, just about a year, and I absolutely love that genre of photography. The entire idea of being able to go out and shoot the streets of your city, see things that you normally wouldn't see, meet people, portraits of people, capturing everyday life, that's something that really excites me and that's something that I've always wanted to do. As you guys know, I sail ships for a living and I go to different countries regularly, I hit different ports. And every time I went out in a port, I tried to take as many pictures as I could while I was out there. And the main reason for that is to be able to document the essence of the place and document the life of the place and just keep memories for myself so I could relive them in the future. And ideally, what I was doing is I was actually shooting the streets. I was shooting street photography in every city. Now, while I haven't actually gone out and made POV style videos of that, I do plan to do that in the future. And that's exactly where my passion for this genre of photography actually comes from. So in order to shoot street, I have to carry my new mirrorless camera, which I just picked up recently and I also have to carry my GoPro so that I can shoot the entire experience of shooting the streets of the city and take you guys with me and occasionally I like to carry my moment lenses also a microphone in case I actually have to vlog there's a whole bunch of equipment that I actually need to carry when I'm out shooting street now over the last year year and a half I've been looking for camera bags and I've actually found a pretty decent tech bag but I didn't manage to get my hands on a really good camera bag something that's minimal something that doesn't scream camera and something that I can take around to the various parts of any city when I'm walking on the streets and and not get noticed. And after doing a bunch of research, that's exactly where I came across my favorite camera bag so far. This little guy here. This is the Peak Design Everyday Sling. It's a five liter bag. And today we're gonna to take a deep dive. Look at why I love this bag. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I carry all my gear when I'm out taking photos and shooting the streets of my city or any other city in the near future. So let's not waste any time and let's get right into it. Now first I'm going to give you the reasons as to why I chose this bag and why I absolutely love it. It's really minimal. It's a sling bag. It could just be an everyday carry bag for your wallet and other stuff and that's the look that it goes for and it's extremely protective. And these are the three main reasons why I narrowed down on this bag. Now there are other bags similar to this in the market like Moment makes a really nice everyday carry bag as well but I just like Peak Design's finish and even though I'm a part of the Moment squad I absolutely love the build quality of the Peak Design bag. I will probably invest in the Moment bag in the near future but for now I'm really happy with what I have and we're gonna take a deep dive into this bag. The bag is extremely well built. The exterior of this bag is made of a synthetic fabric which is also re water repellent. It's extremely sturdy and the bag can actually stand tall because of the design that Peak Design went. Actually feels like an armor for all your gear while you're carrying it around. This bag has a ton of padding on the inside so no matter how much gear you fill in each compartment that the bag actually has, your gear is gonna remain extremely protected. It's not gonna brush up against each other and you're not gonna end up with a ton of scratches as long as you pack it well. The sling is extremely comfortable. It divides the the weight of the bag perfectly well around your shoulder. You can also place the bag in sling mode on your back where it actually has three points of contact. One is your shoulder, one is your lower back and the other is your hip and it gives you a ton of support so that the weight is evenly distributed. Another major factor of the sling is it has a carabiner clip on it which basically lets you adjust this bag and change it from a sling bag and actually use it as a fanny pack. Overall the sling is really easy to adjust. You have a quick adjustment strap on the front of the sling that lets you make it tighter or looser based on how you like to carry your bag and you can also tuck away the extensions of the sling into these pockets pockets which you have at the back of the bag so it doesn't look messy you can keep the entire look really really minimal and really clean. This is the original everyday sling now they now have a 6 liter and a 10 liter sling as well. The shoulder strapping on this one is a little thinner than the newer bags that they've launched but I don't have a problem with it it's still pretty comfortable. Now another thing Peak Design did is they put a grab handle on top of the bag it's literally on the vertical side of the bag which basically means you can go down grab your bag and lift it and then pick up the sling and throw the bag around your neck which makes it extremely easy to carry and move around plus they've put this leather colorway which is extremely contrast to the original look and color of the bag and I absolutely love the design of it. On the right side of the bag you actually have a small loop that can be used to attach your capture clip. I don't have a capture clip and I prefer putting my camera into the bag but it's nice to have options. Now there are two main pockets to actually enter this bag. You have a front pocket and you have a top pocket. The top pocket opens up the main compartment of the bag. The front pocket 
it's a really thin pocket. I normally only put in my charging cables or you can put in your debit card. Maybe throw in your phone without a case, but it's extremely thin, so you want to be careful. Now, on the front of the bag, where the two zips actually meet in close position, you can actually snap the zips around each other in this looping mechanism, so you get a little bit of anti-theft protection, and it's basically built for security. If you're actually out shooting and you want to make sure nobody picks up any gear from your bag when it's slung on your back, this is pretty cool. You're going to actually notice if anyone pulls on your bag or tries to open it up. The top compartment of this bag is extremely well designed. Once you open it up, it's not going to sag, which basically means it's going to stay there really, really sturdy in an open position, even while you're walking and you just want to open up your bag, pull out your camera, your gear is not going to fall ahead because the bag literally stays vertical and extremely sturdy. I love this feature and I think it's really well designed. On the inside of the bag, you have two flex fold dividers, which are basically these Velcro mounted little divisions that you can put into your bag. You can actually move these divisions so that you get ample amount of creativity in the way you want to set up your bag. You also have these opening top compartments within these flex fold dividers that lets you hold additional gear, which I think is really cool. There's also a dedicated tablet compartment, which Peak Design says can hold up to an iPad Pro, but I tried fitting my 11 inch iPad into that and it really can't. It can hold maybe a 10 inch or a 9 inch, 9.7 inch older iPad. Don't want to throw in an iPad Pro into this because it's going to have a lot of pressure on it. We all know about how iPad Pros tend to bend, so you don't want to take that risk. I don't normally use that compartment for much. You also have a special zipper compartment on top of the bag, which basically opens up and has four internal pockets and a little bit of space for you to throw in maybe some charging cables. The four pockets have two color codes of them, red and black. So if you ever have batteries or SD cards that drain out or get full, you can throw them into the red compartments and the ones that actually still have charge or storage space on them, you can put them into the black compartments, giving you a good amount of segregation and adequate carriage space for essential accessories that you always need when you're out shooting. Overall, the bag's extremely sturdy. It's extremely useful to carry around wherever you want to go. And you can pack this bag for different kinds of equipment. You can also pack this bag to fit a drone into it and this ample amount of space and creativity with how you want to use this bag. Plus the colorways that they've actually used. I think you have a black one in the market and you also have this gray finish that I absolutely love. They're extremely monochrome about their finishes and they pretty much go with anything you wear. So you're not going to have that issue either. I'm going to show you exactly how I pack this bag right now. Show you what all stuff I carry inside of it. So let's take a deep dive and uh, hope you enjoy this. I divide my compartments into three different slots. The right hand side compartments for my Canon mirrorless camera. Along the center, I just keep my accessories for my GoPro and my AirPods. The left compartment basically consists of my moment lenses, my Rode microphones, my GoPros, the GoPro Max and the GoPro Hero 9 Black, an additional thumb screw. The tablet compartment normally remains empty. I barely ever use it. It only consists of a microfiber cloth. And on the inside, in the zipline pocket, I only keep my GoPro batteries, charging brick for when I need power for my various cameras, and also additional cables to charge these cameras up. So that was the Peak Design Everyday Bag. This is my minimal everyday photo and video carry. I love the bag. It's really helped me consolidate all the equipment that I want to carry around with me. I normally leave the equipment inside the bag other than the batteries that I need to charge even when I come home from a shoot session. Overall, it has a really nice minimal look it keeps my gear well protected, it has everything in one location, and it keeps me ready to just put on this bag and leave the house at any given point in time provided my batteries are charged. The Peak Design bag is fantastic if you're looking at a great bag for mobile photography, drone photography, to carry your mirrorless camera, or just for your everyday carriage. You're gonna love this bag, you're not gonna be disappointed, so definitely go for it. And little disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. A lot of the people who watch this channel are in the Merchant Navy, so you're always on the go. So when you're out for shore leave, this bag is a boon. It lets you carry absolutely everything you need to document your shore leaves and also keeps your gear extremely safe and looks pretty cool to be completely honest. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was Essential Tech. There's going to be a travel vlog on the channel really, really soon. I'm Nitin Chavla. See you in the next one. Peace.